<laughs> I think the windows just cracked. <laughs> that was insane. That's crazy, right? That is crazy. Hey, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Bert. And a lot of people have commented um, over the past couple months wondering why we haven't done Steel Heart uh, Never Let You Go. We have a long list. We have an in huge list to do and we're obviously- We're not ignoring you. We are not. trying to get there. <laughs> we promise we have a long list of songs to do. Uh, this was one of the ones that uh, when, when Steph was here, we did uh, Steel Heart. We did the acoustic version mm -hmm. of uh, She's Gone. Yes. And so everybody wanted to hear uh, Never Let You Go. So- Here it is. Here it is. So that's the one we're going to be cool. doing today. Um, and and did, so, one you don't know who Steelheart is. No, did I mean, you ever I, listen to I that one? I was gonna say I listened to that, and I mean he sounds great, but I it, it wasn't like I was listening to it in an analysis way how I do now. Okay, you know what I mean? Like I was sure, just sure. listening to like figure out how you guys do things and this and that. Great. Um, so I'm excited to like actually listen. Okay. And try to pick up on certain things that I wouldn't have done when I was listening to you. Makes guys. sense. You know. So this is the studio version, the actual official video. It's okay. it's not the acoustic version. Yeah. It's the actual real video. Cool. Um, and I think. Think you will be. Uh, we've talked a lot about about singers of the '80s and '90s, mm -hmm. and so Malenko is is one of those that um, I made a couple comments. I want to clarify real quick. I said that you know they didn't use them in movies, and everybody was pointing out the fact that well, what about uh, rock star? And so this guy, there was a movie that Mark Wahlberg did. Uh, mm -hmm. with Jeff Pilsen and Zach Wild, uh, they did a, a movie called Rockstar. It was about, it was, it started out loosely based on Ripper Owens, who was a cover band singer and for a Judas Priest cover band. And when Rob Just, Halford, when Rob Halford left, yeah. um, they, it's the whole story of how he actually became the lead singer of Judas Priest. Mm -hmm. So it was loosely based on that, but he bailed early in the project um, for, for creative reasons. And so in that soundtrack, they needed somebody who could sing these big 80s metal songs, yeah. so they got Malenko. Okay. It wasn't Steel Heart, though. I and see. And it was Malenko. And yeah. my point was, when I said that Steel Heart, you know, didn't get used in movies, like Dokken got used in Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Vinnie Vincent, uh, invasion with uh, Mark Slaughter got mm -hmm. used uh, for Slaughter got used for um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Four. Alice Cooper for Friday the Thirteenth. Um, a horror movie. Yeah, no, and they were, <laughs> so they were using a lot of, and there was a lot of '80s bands that got played and as you know, title tracks or theme tracks right. uh, for movies back then. But they didn't. But Steelheart didn't, and that was my point. Was they didn't get put, and I knew that Belenka was you know in Rockstar. Mm -hmm. So just to clarify that. Um, and so one of the things that, that people have pointed out and you wouldn't know, but so they were like on this very meteoric rise. They were going up like mm -hmm. number one with a bullet, as they say. Yeah. They were taking off and there was a horrible accident. Um, um, uh, a stage scaffolding fell on him. Oh my God. On, on the lead singer and almost killed him. Oh my God. Yeah. So. That was literally that derailed where they were going. Well, he almost died. He was like, it was a whole thing of like brain holy, injury. He had to recover. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's terrifying. It is, and it was it was really bad. So he's singing now, um, and he's I good. Uh, he's good. <laughs> um, I I'm sure that you know there. Are, I don't know what lingering effects yeah. have come of that. I'm sure Surely that there there's are something. Yeah. But he still sounds incredible at his age. Oh like, my. and so you'll see on this. Yeah, he has, to me, probably the highest, um, maybe the highest range of the '80s. I mean, I know that there were a couple others that were up in that mm -hmm. range, but for power and range, that's um, a good combo. Like Mark Slaughter could get up there. Like I think, but his was like a weird. It was more of a when he got up into the upper ranges, it was more feminine. Well, I, no, I, I can see that. He, I remember when we did him, 
Mm-hmm. I was like, whoa, like he sound, it sounds like a girl singing. It, it, it's very, there are feminine qualities to his yes. voice when he gets in the upper ranges to get that, that, that upper tone. Right. Uh, whereas there's a couple like him mm-hmm. uh, that they get there with power. Sebastian gets there with power. Yes. And it's, it's, it's still got more of a masculine feel to it. Cool. So, but anyway, so this is one of our most requested, uh, I'll never let you go by Steelheart. Right. I think you'll like him because you, yeah. You have yet to hear anybody that sings remotely close to this. I don't think cool. nowadays. I don't yeah. think there's, there's anybody comparable. So wow. anyway, all right, headphone time because we have to use these now. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Steelheart, I'll never let you go. Oh, beforehand, uh, if you like this reaction and you like what we do, uh, please consider giving us a like, subscribe. Click the subscribe button and click the bell. That way you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Figure I'd start throwing that at the front. Yeah. Okay. Before we even get started. When can I pause it? When can I pause it? <laughs> When's a good time? Is there a solo about to help? He's still singing. <laughs> I don't know when to pause it. It was like a light switch. Like he it started at the beginning, like so calm and like relaxed. And it was like, oh my gosh. It kind of reminded me of like a country song, honestly, at the mm-hmm. beginning. Like even the guitar, it was just like slow and like yep. lovey dovey. Yep. You know what I mean? And then it's like switching, and he's like ah, screaming, like yes. so loud and like so good. And I totally see what you mean. Mm-hmm. How he's up there, but it's like power. Yes. It's like there's oomph. Yep. That's. Like, I love that word. Oomph. It's just oomph. How do you spell that? I don't know. <laughs> you probably should know, I guess. <laughs> but no, and that's a that's a thing about him. That, it, he's it, awesome. He's so, like. He's a different animal. <laughs> It's like, it just kept building and building and building. And it's like, it was like one light switch. And then it's like, oh, well, it wasn't on enough. So let me just turn it on even more. That, it just keeps building this power in and, this song. And he goes even higher and higher and higher throughout. The, towards the end, it just, it gets to absolutely ridiculous mode. Yes. And it's like his his energy, it's like mm-hmm. next level. Yes. <laughs> it's like a lot. It was such a good band. Yeah. And they were, that's what made it kind of like one of those tragic tales of rock, right? Because they were so talented Mm -hmm. and and they were, they were great writers and they were, you had him as a singer, Mm -hmm. you know, literally, you know, touch the the golden vocal cords, right? No kidding. And it's generational kind of thing. And then it's like, you know, that, and it's, it's, they didn't get a chance to hit their full potential. Yeah. And it was like, that was one of those kind of tragic stories, but well loved. Yeah. People all over the world still love this guy, and 
they're just amazing. So I can see why. Yeah. Honestly. And like today's music, you don't hear yeah. oh, male no. voices. Absolutely not. Which it's a, it's a love song, right? Yeah. I mean, it, he's just writing a love song. It's a cute song. Right? So. And he can play. The guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Neo from the Matrix. Oh my gosh. <sighs> How is he not falling on his head? That is abs of steel right there, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is it. Yeah. I couldn't do that if I tried. Oh, they definitely have like uh, a like a fishing string tied to him, and they're holding him up, and you can't, it's can't see. It's absolutely ridiculous, right? Yes. Yeah, no. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that wow. Was, that, the, like, the first time you see the video, I remember seeing this going, how do you do that? Is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's like, wow. Yeah. That, he's awesome. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think the windows just cracked. <laughs> that was insane. That's crazy, right? That is crazy. That was a lot of power. Yeah. A lot of power. Yeah. It he's one of those. He's just that's such a freakishly yeah. good voice. And I can't make up my mind if I think he's attractive or not. Really? Yeah, because I just can't get past the long hair. I just can't get past it. It's just not my You're not vibe. a long hair person. Nope. But you're not used to being around long haired guys. That's exactly, that's probably exactly why. So I'm like looking at his face and I'm like, I mean, his eyes look pretty, his smile looks pretty, <laughs> but I just can't, I just can't see it. Were there any long hair guys in your school? Yeah, but they were Okay. different. Okay, <laughs> but nothing like that. No. See, that's, I think it's just, I wonder sometimes like how, do girls view like the yeah. longer hair, prettier guys? Mm -hmm. Like he was a pretty guy, right? Mm -hmm. But very, very long hair. And if you've not been used to seeing long haired guys, that right. was everybody. Yeah. 
everybody had long hair. Yeah, and I can't like get over it. It's like a button-down shirt, but it's like open. Oh, it's, it's way like open. A v-neck. It's yeah. like a huge V-neck, and it's like that's just totally not, not my vibe, not my style. That was yeah, and it, it's very strange. full Bob Guccione style, like just full like. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you said I mean, if he is like toned, and if they were usually like. If they had abs oh, yeah. and stuff, that's probably why they would wear stuff like that. Where like I feel like in our society, you can. our society today is total like dad bod season. It really is, yeah. No, but back then you could like those guys, yeah. and and plus your your you know early twenties, mid twenties, you know at best mm-hmm. back then, um, and yeah, you could get away with it back then. Yeah, now so. it'd be a little well. I don't know. Eh. I don't know of anybody that dresses like that now. Eh. Of course, then again, I don't look at popular music, but. No, but there's always someone. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm glad you like. uh, I did really like that. I did. Really? I mean, he's, I I totally, it's using the comparison. um, Now I'm having a blank. A slaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, It's a great, that's a great comparison. Like how they're different, I should say. Yeah. Like how they can both get there. Right. But. But there's a different something in his voice. And it's the mm, Yes. <laughs> Tell us how to spell oomph. <laughs> I would think like U-M-P-H. Is it U-M-P-H? Is it U-M-P-H? I would think. Okay. If I was to write it, that's how That's I fine. Think. I'll take it. Yes. All right. Well, if you like that uh, reaction, give us a like, subscribe, and... Click the bell. I was thinking about like trying to say it in a higher pitch, but I was like, no, I'm just going to embarrass myself. Really? I was going to try to be like him, but it's not possible. Can you get that high? Nope. <laughs> it's just funny that I really thought about doing it and I don't know why I would have thought about doing that because I know it'd be a fail <laughs> it's a blooper reel they'll see that on our Patreon page <laughs> see Alexis say hi nope <laughs> you'll want to go like claw your ears out uh, alright well thank you guys so much for joining us that's Alexis that's Birch and we will see you on the next one bye later bye